Okay, the last item I want to discuss on uh, waves is vibrating air columns. Vibrating air columns. And uh, the way they are uh, contained in uh, uh, boxes. Of course, this is, will be the basic physics behind uh, woodwinds, for example. Having said that, let us realize the musical instruments are extremely complicated. This is just a, a few basic ideas about them. Now, let us take the uh, one-dimensional wave equation. Before I start that, uh, let me just review a little bit. Uh, so, if we are uh, discussing the sound waves in one dimension, and Feynman has a beautiful discussion. I, I, I advise, I suggest students read, read that Feynman. Uh, he derives it in a very simple way. Uh, namely, we have an imaginary air mass. They are not real walls. This is just the air mass that we concentrate upon. And the uh, sound wave is a wave of compression and rarefaction. So if it's uh, under this action, this air mass moves here. And of course, the density changes. And you can, you, uh, by using two simple principles, you can get to the new, uh, sound wave equation. One is that the uh, delta change in the mass is zero when you go from here to there. Uh, there are so many uh, molecules, like of the order of Avogadro's number. Of course, uh, one may leave the uh, region, one molecule, but then you would think another molecule will come in. So basically, delta M does not change. And of course, uh, Avogadro's number is like 10 to the 23. So if 1,000 molecules leave and uh, enter, it means nothing uh, for the uh, macroscopic but small mass. Second, of course, is the F equals mass times acceleration. These two concepts is enough to uh, derive the wave equation, which we will write as the psi is equal to zero. This is our one dimensional. But of course, now the velocity is different. Velocity here I mean sound. This is the isoentropic compressibility, namely when the entropy does not change, uh, how does the uh, pressure change with uh, density? That's the compressibility. And it is gamma r t over m. m is the molecular weight. Gamma is the ratio of the specific heats at constant pressure and at constant uh, volume. We are not driving these. The important thing is that these are unlike the string, uh, waves on a string, which are transverse. Here's the string. Uh, and the string, uh, piece of string moves up or down as the wave uh, travels along the string. But here the wave is longitudinal. So important thing is longitudinal. Then, uh, what quantity satisfy? What, what is the physical quantity psi here? Psi could be uh, any one of those. It could be, for example, the excess pressure, P excess. E stands for excess. P is P0, that's the atmospheric pressure, plus the excess pressure. Or uh, the displacement. This is the D of x t, the displacement of the air mass. Or the excess density. You can also write rho is equal to 
rho zero, the density when the uniform density when there is no sound wave, and rho e, and uh, excess uh, temperature. <coughs> During this process, uh, entropy uh, is constant. All right. So we have the equation. Most commonly, we use PE or the air displacement. Now I can erase everybody. These are not uh, unrelated. For example, these are all related. So we can use any one of them. We will use these two. Now, musical instruments are not infinitely long pipes, but they are contained boxes. So we can think of three boxes, three types of boxes. A closed half, both ends closed, both ends open, and one end open, one end uh, closed. Now, uh, if you think of the uh, excess pressure, what is the boundary uh, condition at a closed end and an open end? At a closed end, a molecule is coming, hitting, and is getting reflected. Therefore, it is the, uh, if it's a sine or cosine wave, it will have an anti-node anti at the wall. And at the open uh, wall, open end, uh, excess pressure will be zero, so it will be zero. This is for PE. For the displacement at the wall, it will be zero because we cannot push the wall. And when it's open, we have the antinode. So depending on the, uh, your wish, you can choose one or the other. So let's first do this one, L. So obviously, uh, we have sine Kn L is equal to 0. Again, Kn L is equal to n pi. 2 pi over lambda n L is equal to n pi. So n times lambda n over 2 is equal to L. So this is just like the string equation, except that uh, oscillations are not transverse, but longitudinal. Clearly, Fn is uh, n times F1, just like is in this uh, string. And what is F1? Lambda 1 F1 is the speed of sound and F1 is Vs over lambda 1 and lambda 1 lambda 1 over 2 is L. So lambda 1 is Vs over 2L. So Fn is equal to n times F1. But of course this is hardly an instrument if, if it doesn't uh, have any you know it's, it cannot send so we have such instruments and such instruments. So we are done with the closed one. Let me erase the following. So the normal modes here will be this uh, and then etc. Just like as in this string. Okay, I'm erasing this part. Now both sides open. So excess pressure will be zero. At the
So perhaps it's easier to write uh, d. No, x especially will be zero at the open end. So here I have a zero. Here I have a zero. So the only way is is that again. So. Next, so we have this, or that, or that. This is when they oscillate, okay? So again, n, lambda n over 2 is equal to L. This is obviously sine kn x with kn L is equal to 0. So lambda n is equal to Lambda, well, that's it. And Fn is equal to n times F1. F1 being, again, Vs over 2L. So this is a harmonic. So do we have uh, some musical instruments resembling that? Yes, flute. Flute is something like that. OK. I'm erasing this. With this one. Let's just, uh, as the last example, take this one. This is L. All right, let's take the excess pressure, for example. It will be zero here, and it will be. Uh, Antinode at the wall, but this is what if you consider a uh, wave. This is simply one fourth of it. Okay, so lambda one over four is equal to L. Next one. will be here. It has to be antinode here. So it must be like this. So the uh, normal modes are like that. Of course, all the lengths must be L, so these are getting smaller. So this is lambda over 4, 2 lambda over 4. So the next one, 3 lambda over 4 is equal to L. So if this has a frequency F1, this has 3 F1. The next one will be 5, 2, 4, 5. So 5 lambda over 4 is equal to L. So this will give me 5 F1. So the even harmonics are missing in this thing. All right. Do we have an instrument that sort of resembles this? Yes, it is the clarinet. Okay, I am erasing this. Except that uh, these are longitudinal waves. Uh, the f physics of it here is just like the string. This, because of the boundary condition, is uh, different. It's like a string with a tight string with a movable uh, end. Uh, but there is no musical instrument like that. But there is one uh, with such air columns. There is one last uh, bit of item I want to discuss, and I want to do it very, very simply, and that's the question of beats.
Beats are also important in uh, mus music, especially in uh, tuning. And suppose we are at a fixed uh, position and uh, from two sources you are getting uh, sound and their, their frequencies omega 1 and omega 2 such that omega 2 minus omega 1 is delta W and this delta W is very much smaller than the smaller one. Namely, you are receiving sound from two sources that are very close in frequency. So what is the intensity that you hear? All right. Uh, so let's say psi is equal to a e to the minus i omega 1 t plus let me again for simplicity take e to the to avoid mathematics 2t and the intensity intensity it will be proportional to psi absolute square so that's equal to a absolute square e to the minus i omega 1 t plus e to the minus i omega 2 t times e to the, I, the complex conjugate of it plus e to the i omega 2 t equals a square 1 plus 1 plus e to the i omega 2 minus omega 1 t plus here e to the minus i omega 2 minus omega 1 t. This you will recognize as cosine omega 2 minus omega 1 t which is cosine delta w t times 2. It's twice that. And this is also 2. So it is 2a square 1 plus cosine delta w t. <clears throat> this is just a constant term. I'm interested in this term. So if you plot the intensity divided by time, so this is 2, this is 1. So intensity is varying uh, like this. Uh, the frequency of oscillation is here. F beat is F2 minus F1. And TB is 1 over FB. And FB is 1 over T2 minus 1 over T1 which is T1 minus T2 over T1, T2. And this is, if you just take the reverse, this is T1, T2 over T1 minus T2. Namely, this is uh, much larger than T1 and T2. So it makes a, uh, if you just listen to it, it makes mm, mm, mm sound. And uh, that's the way basically you tune the, uh, for example, guitar. You play two notes that should sound the same. If they are not the same, uh, you will hear the beat. So you change the tension in one of the strings uh, till uh, you adjust and till you reduce the beat to a tolerable value uh, amount that doesn't bother you. Okay, that's the end of our discussion of waves.